Hello everyone, this is Mr. Zarasi. I just wanted to go through this quick animation here for you as a review for all of the cell cycle. That would be both interphase and mitosis. So again, this would be for a somatic cell, a body cell, any cell in your body besides a sperm or an egg. It's going to go through the longest period of its life, which is interphase. We said in our first animation, it's at least about two-thirds or more of a cell's life with a third or less of a cell's life being spent in division, either mitosis or cytokinesis. So I'm just going to drag this along real quick. So if we look at interphase first, all right, so there's my brand new cell starting off here, a little baby cell. It is going to enter G1. G1 stands for growth, so it's going to get bigger as time goes on. If it gets too big and can divide, it enters the S phase, where it'll synthesize and copy all of its DNA. And then it'll enter the third and final stage of interphase, which is G2, where all the DNA is checked for errors, organelles are copied, and you make food and additional proteins to actually enter division. Drag this along a little bit. So here is my original cell in G1. Watch how it gets bigger as I drag it along. It's going to expand. See how that's getting there? Eventually, it gets too big where the rate of diffusion suffers. So now it's going to enter the S phase. We're going to see all the DNA, which is currently in the form of chromatin, get duplicated. So watch it get doubled in a second here. So if I drag this out, there you go. Now we're going to enter G2, where, again, as I said, the DNA is going to get proofread for errors. You're going to make more food and proteins for cell division, and you're going to copy all the organelles, including the centrioles down here. So as I enter G2, you see how they just got duplicated? Same thing for any other organelle, rough ER, smooth ER, Golgi, you name it. Now, we can officially enter mitosis, the first stage of cell division. Remember, mitosis just truly stands for nuclear division or division of the nucleus. We're going to have four stages. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. All right, looking at prophase, the key things that happen here that I want you to remember are is all the chromatin is going to condense, and you're finally going to see chromosomes, and they'll exist in the X form. Remember, we're looking at, if we count our centromeres, one chromosome, one sister chromatid pair for one X, or one two chromatids. So starting off with this original parent cell, I have one, two, three, four chromosomes, or four sister chromatid pairs, or if a every pair has two chromatids, I'll have two, four, six, eight chromatids. You're also going to see the nucleus then start to break down and dissolve. And these centrioles are going to start to move to the poles, and you can start to see the spindle fibers or microtubules being emitted from the centrioles. Metaphase, all of these spindle fibers will attach to that special part of the centromere we call the kinetochore. And once they do, so again we can see metaphase, all the chromosomes lined up down the middle or equator. In a phase now, the tug of war begins where the centrioles start to pull back on the spindle fibers and they're going to rip these sister chromatid pairs in half. Where just one half of the X goes one direction and the other half goes the other. Sister chromatid pairs no longer exist now. Now I can just call these either chromosomes or chromatids, which again is just a copy of a chromosome. So now my count is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 chromosomes or 8 chromatids. Finally, we get to telophase. You're going to see cytokinesis starting to happen here, but we focus on telophases. All of these chromosomes are going to start to uncoil back in the chromatin. Now there is individual chromosomes. There's four, just like the original parent cell had. And here comes the nuclei starting to reform, the nucleus. And see how the chromosomes are uncoiling back into chromatin. So mitosis is finished, the division of the nucleus. Last thing that needs to happen is cytokinesis, where for animals like you and I, the cell membrane just pinches in half, perfectly dividing the cytoplasm, 
creating two brand new identical, that's the thing, identical daughter cells. If there's anything wrong with these, that means some type of mutation occurred, and that could lead to a whole other host of issues such as perhaps cancer. Recall to finish with cytokinesis, if this was a plant cell, they would not fully divide in half during cytokinesis. They would just form a brand new cell wall in between the two. They would be separate cells, but they would still be connected by a thick cell wall that you would see right here in the middle. All right, so again, overview. Cell cycle broken up into interphase and division made up of both mitosis and cytokinesis. And you can see if I drag this out to finish it, how the overall process occurs. This cell got too big, copies its DNA, goes through all the four stages of mitosis, and eventually during cytokinesis divides in two identical daughter cells. Hopefully this helps clear things up a little bit from my last video, and I will talk to you soon.